Today's lesson is going to be on solving two-step inequalities. Okay, you can solve two-step inequalities the same way you would solve two-step equations, except if you multiply or divide by negative number, you must reverse the inequality symbol. Okay, let's, so let's look at example number one. We're going to solve it the same way as we would an equation. So looking at the left side where x is, we want to get rid of 5 and 4. We're going to get rid of that 4 first because it's farther away, easier to get rid of. Okay, so how do we get rid of that? Now, this is a minus 4. We're going to add 4. What can we add or subtract to the number to get it to cancel out? And that would be to add 4. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Our opposites will cancel out, leaving us with 5x on the left. We did not multiply or divide by a negative number, so we can bring down our inequality sign. And 11 plus 4 is 15. Okay, now we are at a one-step inequality. Now we have to get rid of that 5. To get rid of 5, you're multiplying it, so you would divide by 5. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Opposites will cancel out, leaving us with x. We did not multiply or divide by a negative, so we bring down our inequality sign. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. And we have found our answer. X is greater than or equal to 3. So let's graph that. Taking a chunk of the number line, we know that it can be equal to 3, so we shade in our circle. And X is everything that is greater than or equal to 3, so we shade to the right. Example number two, b divided by negative 3 plus 4 is less than 13. Okay, so in this problem, we have negative 3 to get rid of and 4. Once again, we're going to get rid of this adding and subtracting step first because it's easier to do so. We are going to subtract 4 to get rid of plus 4. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Our opposites cancel out, leaving us with b divided by negative 3 on the left. We did not multiply or divide by a negative number, so we can bring down our inequality sign. And 13 minus 4 is 9. Okay, we are still not done. That negative 3 is in our right way. So if we are dividing by a negative 3, to get rid of it, we must multiply by a negative 3. You do the inverse operation. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Our opposites will cancel, us, cancel out, leaving it with b. In this case, we did multiply by a negative number. So our inequality symbol is going to be flipped. And 9 times a negative 3 is a negative 27. And that is our answer. If we are to graph, we have a negative 27 and B cannot be equal to it, so we're going to leave an open circle. And B is everything greater than that negative 27. Example number three. A scuba diver is at an elevation of a negative 38 feet. The diver starts moving at a rate of a negative 12 feet per minute. Write and solve an inequality that represents how long it will take the diver to reach an elevation deeper than a negative 200 feet. Okay, so if we look, a scuba diver starts at an elevation of a negative 38 feet. So we're going to start there. Now, problems like these is very easy to get confused. And what would be best is would be to draw a picture. So... A picture would make this problem a lot easier to visualize. So is that the divers at a negative 38 feet and they start moving at a rate of a negative 12 feet per minute. Now we don't know how many minutes that the scuba diver is going so we're going to put a variable there. Remember also when I said per you think multiply. So we can represent negative 12 feet per minute by negative 12 times m. 
Now, we see that we are trying to figure out how long it will take the diver to reach an elevation deeper than a negative 200 feet. So this here is going to represent where the diver is going. And if we want it to be deeper than a negative 200 feet, you want it to be less than 200. Remember, because you're going deeper and deeper, it's going to be smaller than a negative 200 feet. So we would represent that by less than a negative 200. So our inequality to represent this problem is a negative 38 plus a negative 12m is going to be less than a negative 200. Now we're going to solve to figure out how many minutes it would take for the scuba diver to reach deeper than a negative 200 feet. Okay, looking at our problem, we need to get rid of that minus 38. To do that, we add 38, and we do that to both sides. Opposites will cancel out, leaving us with a negative 12m is less than, and that'll be a negative 162. We did not have to flip our sign because we did not multiply or divide by a negative number. But we are going to, because to get rid of that negative 12, we have to divide by a negative 12. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Those opposites will cancel out, leaving us with m. And because we did divide by a negative, we flip the sign. And a negative 162 divided by a negative 12 is 13.5. And that is our answer. So if the scuba divers start swimming um, anywhere over 13.5 minutes at that rate, he should be able to get deeper than a negative 200 feet. Try these on your own. See what you can do.